Brome grass is a big problem, particularly to no-till farmers. Now, over the past 20 or so years, no-till has selected for weeds that don't like disturbance, and brome grass is one of those weeds. There are two main species of brome. One is Bromus rigidus and Bromus diandrus, and both of these occur throughout a lot of the cereal farming of southeastern Australia. Bromus diandrus is more restricted to the higher rainfall areas, whereas Bromus rigidus we find in the more drier areas. Now brome is a problem because it has extended periods of germination, so using pre-emergent herbicides can control the initial uh, brome grass, whereas after the herbicides start to wear away, brome grass will emerge later on in the season. Another problem of brome is that there are no real good herbicides available to control them in some cereal crops. For example, in barley, there are no registered post-emergent herbicides to control brome. In wheat, there are herbicides. We can use herbicides such as Atlantis and herbicides such as Crusader. They are all group B herbicides. A new technology which will help is the Clearfield technology, and that is where we're using herbicides such as Intervix. They are excellent herbicides for controlling brome in both wheat, barley and canola. But again, the problem there is that these herbicides belong to the group B class of chemistry. And so we're relying only on group B herbicides to control, um, control brome. And that, that is a problem because that, this will ultimately lead to resistance where farmers are using only group B herbicides to control brome. Controlling brome with pre-emergent herbicides is very difficult. There are two major sources of pre-emergent applications. We've got the knife point press wheel system and we've got the disc system. Now using knife point and press wheels you can get much better control with, with uh, herbicides and so brome control or brome suppression is a lot easier with a knife point press wheel system. In disc systems it's very difficult to control uh, weeds because of the lack of incorporation. Now there are numerous pre-emergent herbicides which can, can be used to control brome. We've got trofluralin, which has been around for many years and is a really good herbicide. Mixtures of trofluralin with avidex can also improve activity. And some of the other herbicides which are used, of course, are things like metribuzin, which are excellent but rely on rainfall. Another herbicide which is showing really good control is uh, one of the new herbicides called Secura. Secura can suppress brome in the presence of Avidex as well. So Avidex plus Secura, we've had very good, good control of brome. So all of these pre-emergent pre herbicides that I've spoken about are good in suppressing their initial germination. However, they're not sufficient to control and reduce the amount of seed set for the following season. So in some cases, we may need to try and control seed set at the end of the season. And this is very difficult to do both in barley and in wheat, but it can be done a lot more successfully in pulse crops. There's a big patch of brome over here. Yeah. Very dense. Two years ago, we received a brome sample from the York Peninsula, which has survived a glyphosate application along a fence line. If you're using glyphosate along fence lines, you've been using it for many years, it's really important to change to another mode of action herbicide, such as herbicides which include paraquat, to really slow down the, the selection of glyphosate resistance in brome and also in other species as well.